What's up guys, Tonester here. Uh, this evening I'm going to do a little review on my EDC. Um, I guess these are pretty popular here on YouTube, so I thought I'd give a try at doing my own. Uh, what you see here is what I've been carrying this past summer. Um, I carry extra light during the summer just because here in Southern California the heat is very hot and very dry so I like to be as comfortable and light as possible um, I usually switch in and out between knives and lights but um, this particular setup I've been carrying for the past couple weeks so let's get started well first off I would like to say that um, for summer carry there are a couple things that I do not carry that I usually do um, those items are a watch and a Zippo. Uh, the reason I don't wear a watch during, during summer is because I hate the feeling of sweat between your wrist and the watch. I uh, hate it. It bugs me. And I hate watch tents. So I do not wear a watch during summer. Um, I don't wear or I don't carry a Zippo during summer just because it's more weight and I don't smoke so I've found that I've been able to get by without a lighter pretty well and just being in California during the summer there's always some kind of wildfire going on so you know fires nearby somewhere usually <laughs> um, so yeah let's get started um, for a pen uh, I've been carrying the Zebra F301 compact been using this for over a year now. Um, there's nothing tactical about it, no impact devices or glass breakers on it, but I love it. It's super compact and very light. Um, I'd be surprised if this thing weighed more than two ounces. Um, as you can see, it's very small, opens up, and turns into a full-size pen. I love the way it writes. It writes very smooth and, you know, I've never had a problem with uh, zebra pens. You could put a key ring on this too. You can see right there, there's a hole. So if you wanted to put on your keys, it'd be a pretty good, I guess, uh, pen key. And you can see it won't come out. It snaps in there very nicely. Just. Um, this right here is probably my favorite piece of gear. It's a uh, Burt's Bees lip balm, and I I take I take off the the label just because it gets all worn and ugly. But um, I don't leave home without this. Uh, like I said before, the weather in California is super dry, so I am always using this. And if you're looking for a very good lip balm, I highly recommend Burt's Bees. Do my, whoa, do my keys next. Um, keep my keys as light as possible so there's not much going on on my keys. Right here on a separate key ring for my tools, I keep my car keys and my house keys. And then my house keys are on a separate key ring. Uh, on my McGizmo, I'm carrying my titanium poltergeist pill fob with some ibuprofen in it the Meritech AAA um, I'll probably do a more in-depth review on my keys and the items that I have on it in the future not much more going on uh, let's see for my light I've been carrying the Surefire E1B backup for the past uh, I would say probably about three weeks to a month now um, this is the older model, 80 lumens. I'll do a more in-depth review on it in the future, but so far I really like it. Um, it's very sleek. Um, I love the pocket clip. It's actually probably my favorite pocket clip on a flashlight that I've carried. So no complaints on this thing. For my knife, 
I am carrying my small sub benzene signal. This is the older model. Um, it does not have the made in Idaho stamp, which I really don't like. It's distracting and I don't know, I think it's ugly. I just like the little stamp right there. Uh, this is the S3V blade. I'll probably do a more in-depth review in the future. Um, but this is my favorite EDC blade. And if I had to choose only one blade to carry for the rest of my life, this would probably be the blade. Especially with the modified Warncliffe. Alright, uh, let's do my wallet. This is my wallet. And I've had this for... A long time, probably like 10 years or more, got it as a gift one. I was just, I don't know, 15 or something like that. Um, I've been carrying it off and on for probably about five years. So it's not falling apart yet. And it's actually showing wear very nicely. There's no, uh, no tears or rips or stitching coming undone. It's a bifold and it's very thin and it actually holds everything I need plus more. Holds my bank cards, my credit cards, my gift cards, my grocery store cards, carries even some cash, which is very rare. <laughs> um, even carries my Atwood ABC. Um, I love the ID window right here and right here. I never have to take out my ID. If someone needs to see it, just bust out my wallet. Um, I prefer bifold over trifolds just because it's less material, so it's lighter and thinner. So there you go. That is my EDC. And like I said, I usually do carry more during you know fall and winter when I'm carrying a jacket and wearing jeans, but. During summer, um, I always slim down my EDC just because I don't wear cargo shorts. I just wear like normal, I don't know, I guess they're just like khaki shorts or whatever. But this setup has worked out very nicely for me. Stupid flies. Um, and also, you know, being in the city in Southern California, um, I like to be under the radar. I don't like to stand out. So I don't carry a tactical EDC bag with, you know, patches all over it or I don't carry a bat belt. What you see right here is what I carry and people don't even notice that I usually have anything on me and I like it because I've never had a problem with it. So works for me. Um, I'll probably be doing more EDC videos every once in a while, not too often, just because there's a lot of them on YouTube already. But hope you guys enjoyed it, and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night.